Hello everyone, and welcome back to All The Mods 9. We are back, and in the last episode, uh, we did some things as per usual. This time it was majorly, or majority of it was a power upgrade. So, for example, we upgraded our reactor over there. We also upgraded our uh, ender cell behind here. So we've actually got a separate ender cell. It's on like channel two, and it has 100 million uh, power available to it that'll hopefully keep this guy up and running permanently. <laughs> that, that, that's the idea. Um, on top of that, we've obviously got an upgraded reactor over here. This guy is of the Niotic variant, so he's currently generating 23,000 RF per tick, which is pretty good. Um, and yeah, we also upgraded like our stuff here, so our rods. We also upgraded this guy, so he can now like spit out, you know, 100k per tick to our system. And it's pretty good. We still, I want to push it a bit further. We can definitely take it to, say, Spirited um, tier and whatnot. In fact, I think we actually ordered the stuff. So if I go in here and search um, at power, yeah, we've got 36 spirited capacitors. So we genuinely just need to pick this guy up and we can upgrade him, which is pretty cool. Um, he's not order yet. I realized I haven't even like attempted to wire this guy up with uh, what he needs, but we can. It's an option. Um, he's currently got about like, you know, 20 mil in him that I'm about to just like void by picking him up. But I think it's fine. We'll, we'll make that back uh, quite easily once we upgrade uh, the reactor. So yeah, sweet. Um, another thing that I want to do that I kind of forgot to do, we'll, we'll quickly get this guy up and running first. So 36 of these, it, it honestly crafts like extremely quickly, um, which is very nice. Let's go ahead and move some of this stuff away. 24, 28, 32, 36. Brilliant. <laughs> Already back in action. We'll stop by the water. Yoink. Um, but yeah, uh, is to do with the blue ice, right? That we use to make the dry ice. There's a little thing that I want to do there. So we'll quickly get this guy set up um, and start ordering. Oh, the next tier is um, the next tier is the big one, right? That would be the nitro crystal. We can do it. I mean, we've got the power for it. Maybe we, we, we may do it. Just well, might as well. You know what I mean? Um, all right. So put the water in and then put the rest of this stuff in. Make sure he's nice and cool. Chuck in our power. Auto mode on. I don't know. I think it helps. And now we are currently generating 97,000 forge energy per tick. Thank you. Pleasure doing business. Um, we'll probably get some more dry ice for this guy later. Ah, nice. All right. I will order that nitro though. I, I wasn't sure if I would in, in the previous episodes, but I think I will. Um, so we'll go in here. We're going to click nitro capacitors and we want 36 of them. We are missing some of the titanium, dysprosium and lutidium or whatever. Cool. Okay. Um, well, that kind of segues into what I want to do for the rest of this episode anyway. So that, that's good. It's kind of good that we don't have that stuff. Okay. Well, I'll, I'll get to that in a second. Um, the first thing I would like to do is, well, well, first of all, we should have enough power. I should be able to chuck in my infinity, infinity range booster. This guy's now using, you know, just about 5,000 uh, forge energy per tick. And he should be good. He should be fine. He, not a problem. We shouldn't see a dent in the system. Hopefully. Hopefully. Um, what do I want to do? Oh yeah, I want to grab our exporters. We, I believe we were ordering three of these. I don't know what happened to them, but we didn't end up uh, actually placing them. And these are for our um, pr uh, compressors, air compressors. <laughs> I was like, what's, what are they for? What are the numbers? What do they mean? Um, but we'll grab out a piece of coal and that should be good. Um, Cause they're potentially allowing us to get blue ice quicker and easier. Um, but I've just got to, you know, make sure that it's actually running, I guess. So you're going to be getting coal. You're going to be getting coal. You're going to be getting coal. All of them are feeding through this guy here. Arguably, I should pick it up. Oh, might make some noise and place it on this guy just so that it's closer to the pipes. We'll see. We'll see how it goes, but that should hopefully work. Obviously, they'll need to, you know, heat up quite a bit, but we'll, yeah, this guy should be automated as well. It'll destroy blue ice, place packed ice. There we go. Okay, so <laughs> let's let's now get to the the ne the next stage that I that I'm thinking about. So obviously we need stuff, right? We need all of this stuff for starters to be attached to the system. So I might actually just run some cables up here. We've got a bunch on us. Oh, we can also <laughs> listen. There's a lot that happened last episode. We should have this automated to change the um the weather to clear. That's what this should do. I for whatever reason I don't think it does. Um, possibly because of this guy constantly right-clicking, maybe? I'm, I don't know, but I mean, as you can see, well, it doesn't really work, does it? I don't really know how to fix that, to be honest. 
Tablet of Sunrise. Okay, no, it's the Tablet of Sunrise that's running. Okay, have I have I not done this correctly? Tablet of Cloud Shaping or Tablet of Sunrise. This guy here is Tablet of Sunrise, and he's apparently running. This guy here is Tablet of Cloud Shaping, Redstone Mode. And then we'll go with Redstone. So they're both set the same. And so then what's happening with the... I'm just going to watch this for a second to see the Redstone links turn on and off. Because we set it up in it and it wasn't working and I guess now we know why. Let's see. <laughs> so far, not so good. Because I, I saw the sun. The sun was in the sky. It shouldn't have mattered. Yeah, why is this guy turning off? This guy is for the Tablet of Sunrise. He is Pickaxe Pickaxe. That is linked over here, Pickaxe Pickaxe. We've got a separate thing completely over here. So why is he turning off? Very strange. Okay. He is triggered by this guy here. Okay. Oh, you know what? Currently, because it's raining or whatever, if we look at this worldview, it is saying that it is not day. It's saying it's nighttime. Even though it very much should be day. If I toggle off this, can we... Oh, no. It, oh, it's because it's thunderstorming. So there's no actual sun, as you can see. But there's no moon either. It's like a, it's a fake night, essentially. Okay, yeah. That, I, I, that does make sense. I just don't really know how I'm going to fix that. Okay, so currently, mm, yeah, all right. Is night, is thunder. So I need to do, oh God. If it's night and thunder, I need this guy not to run. <laughs> all right, all right. So is day. Um, where do I have it? I have it in here. We got this guy. All right, I'm gonna have to do a little bit of magic here. You're gonna have to buckle in for this one. We're gonna try and uh, repair the system a little bit. So I need to grab weather thunder, I guess. Or, because it's clear false, day false. So perhaps I should do, is it day and is it clear? You know what I mean? That, that might just be the, the smarter option. So oh, hold on, we've got a clear over here as well. So I, I, in my mind, what we'll do is we will get and, and, um, yeah, but I think we want a NAND because if it's not clear and day, right? Not clear and day, output redstone signal. <laughs> Let's see if that works. That, that honestly might. So not clear and day. Hmm, no, I want the opposite of that, don't I? Because I want it to consider thunder as daytime still because I don't want it to run. Okay, hold on. <laughs> this makes sense in my mind. It might be a bit confusing, but once I, once I finally figure out what I'm trying to do here, I think it'll be all, I think it'll be okay. I think what I want here, so I want, <laughs> what do I want to happen here? So if it is not day, right? If it's not day, Hold on. <laughs> if it's not day, run the redstone, make it daytime, right? Cool. That part works. If it is not day, but thunder. So not day and thunder. But I've got a clear card. We'll put the clear card back. And I'm just going to get that thunder card because that makes more sense. And so then what we're going to do is we're going to combine... We're going to do an and... No. <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> um, no, 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 no. We we're right the first time, sorry. The Thunder card we don't need. We want day and clear. No, yes. <laughs> because what we want to say, hold on, I've, I've got this. If it is not day and it is clear, I'll put a redstone signal. And so we'll just replace this one. That makes sense, right? Because if it's not day, so it's nighttime, and it's clear, so not thundering. We're good. Okay. It took it took us a while to get there, but we should be there. That knot goes there. That day goes there. And this and card instead goes here, I believe. And that should now work. Obviously, it is currently daytime and clear, so something happened. But that should hopefully solve it in the future as well. Okay? All right. So, what were we doing? Where were we? Um... I don't necessarily think we're over here. Oh, yeah, we're up here. Um, oh, yeah, I was just going to hook up the system. We should also, by the way, have access to our system anywhere now, thanks to that um, Infinity Range Booster. So, 
the playthroughs are going to be just beautiful now. Hopefully. The episodes should be nice and smooth. No more running back and forth. Hopefully. <laughs> Fingers crossed still. Um, all right. External storage. We'll grab one of these guys. Uh, we need slime balls, which apparently we don't have automated. I'm surprised we've gotten this far without them. Bone gelat gelatin? Gelatin? Uh, and some kelp. That's an option. The dough and the lime's not a bad option as well, to be honest. Otherwise, ooh, smelting jellyfish. Honestly, an option. Um, Because we've got that um thingy. You know what I mean? You know what I mean. Jumbo furnace. Yeah, okay. Um, we'll, we'll go have a look. We've got a, a fisher over here, and we'll see what he's looking like in terms of uh, jellyfish. Is he even getting any? It kind of doesn't look like it, does it? Um, this guy... For, for some reason, occasionally you just have to, like, change his options. I don't really know why. Is that working? Oh, okay. <laughs> sure, whatever. Um, yeah. Okay. I don't see a jellyfish. I, I could be blind, it's possible, but I don't, uh, yeah, I don't think I see one. Um, although we do get some aquaculture stuff. Hmm. Okay. What do we have? Tombstone mending. We've got some pretty good stuff here. Withering power. Um, nature's men. That's a nice one as well. Okay. Um, oh God. So what, what do I need then? What, what was that that we were looking for? Slime. Okay. So I'm going to have to automate dough and lime green. Is that the current idea? Let's also, yeah, I'll get rid of that smoke effect. Because we've got dough here. I mean, like it's honestly th this machine. I should probably just turn off. It, it kind of looks like it has been turned off. I I guess because we've got enough power. Um, so this guy's slowly filling up. But we should store some dough. I guess. Um, yeah. So let's see. Draw. See if I can get one of these. Um, a funnel. Yeah, we can just grab an insight one. And so I can, in theory, just place this guy here with this guy on the front. And he'll just, he'll just pick that stuff up like so. And so this guy will have dough in him. Um, we don't actually have any refined storage over this area outside of over in that spot over there. So arguably, I think an ender chest or something would just be better. Do we have the option to get ender chests? We do. Like just good old fashioned ender chests. All right, let's do that. Let's search eye of ender. Can I get like, can I get a stack? No. We, we can, though. I think we've got the stuff. I just need to um actually craft it. Or, or order it, I guess, from our uh, trader. <laughs> Alright, we should... Everything should be a-okay. Enderpearls, please. Alright, that might take a little while. Oh, I'll, 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 we'll just use what we've got. Alright, we've got some ender chests. So what I'm going to do is one of these will come over here. And we'll attach it much like how we attached... Um, I guess that to the system. <laughs> um, so we're gonna slap it here. I'm gonna place both of them, apply diamonds to both by shift right clicking. That will obviously make them, you know, diamond trimmed. And then we're also going to change each of these to be yellow. Now they don't really look yellow just because of the way that the shaders work, but if you toggle it off, oh. Like well, you know, they kind of just don't look yellow regardless, but <laughs> regardless that they are, you'll, you'll just have to sort of take my word for it. Um, and you can see the code up here and obviously the yellow up there. So they are now linked to one another. So if I put variable cards in there, I can take them out of there. And they're linked to my profile. So I'm playing on a server. No one else will be able to take them, uh, which is obviously pretty good. So I'll pick this guy up. Um, we obviously want another external storage. Um, yeah, we, we probably will do that, but I can't afford that. And I didn't think about that. So, <laughs> so here we are. Uh, do we have some temporary dough making capabilities? Lime dye. Oh, we're getting those from sea pickles, aren't we? And we've got a bunch of those. Yeah. Okay. So, I mean, there's a bit of like automation and stuff left to do. I also... Oh, yeah. I know I know what to do. Oh, there's a, there's a lot we got to do. How easily is this done? Hmm. All right. Hold on. Hold on. We're going to grab an entangled block. I'm going to do something that normally takes me way too long to do in terms of like a... Uh, for episodes and stuff in, in, in series. And we're going to just get it out of the way very early. So I'm going to make another ender chest. I think I want two pouches, which is a little bit unfortunate because we don't have that stuff, but that's fine. Um, if I search ender, I think there's an ender bag you can make. 
Yeah, he needs an ender pouch, which needs leather. Which, we've got cows, but we're not farming them. Uh, man, that's rough. Um, leather. Do we have any other tricks to get leather? Any other, like, easy to do things? What's that, protein? Not too bad. Ooh! We do have saddles. Yeah, yeah, we, we could probably crush up. Oh, rotten flesh as well? Oh, easy peasy. Half a second. Asking ye shall receive. Um, grab some run flesh. Problem is this guy's kind of, he's, he's packed pretty full at the moment with uh, mineral resin. Uh, I guess he's not even the mechanical one. Where is it? I think, oh god. Oh my god. I'm, I'm annoyed. <laughs> I'm just annoyed as it is. Let's go ahead and I'll collect the thing from this. I'll pick it. We've got so much to do. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let's go mechanical. Um, what is that? A drill? Uh, mechanical drying basin. It needs two energy batteries, which needs two of these, which I'll just craft a stack of. Sure. Let's go. Uh, boom. Let's go back in here. Make two of these. Place these away. One. Ah. Can I just make another one? <laughs> no, we don't have the stuff for it. Of course we don't have the stuff for it. So I need to place this guy back down. <sighs> We're so close. We'll, we'll get this guy mechanical. We'll have this stuff processing faster. We'll empty out this guy, courtesy of that guy. Oh god, there's actually so much stuff in there. Man, <laughs> what's happening? This guy, oh my god. I didn't realize I processed that much. Okay, hold on. No, you're coming with me. I know we wasted some, but it's fine. Yeah, I'm sure it's not the end of the world. All right, two of those batteries. They're pretty good batteries. Uh, combine them for the mechanical drying basin. Oh, there we go. Awesome. And so if I chuck this guy here, he probably won't have power, which is fine. Um, I've got an ender gate on me, so I guess I'll just slap that guy there. So he's running, and he's now a lot faster. It's just a limitation on the actual resin coming in now. Beautiful. Obviously, I'll replace this guy at some point with just direct connection, I guess, or something. Um, you know what? I need, to write, I need to write this stuff down. Um, drying basin auto mineral. Okay, that's one thing we need to do. I also need to... I've, I've forgotten what we were doing. What, what, what was I about to do external storage for? Slime auto dough. I was also going to do auto wireless smelting via bag. That's what I was going to try and set up, but obviously we needed <laughs> more leather. Um, and I think that's pretty much it, right? Yeah. Okay, cool, cool. We, we, at least now it's written somewhere, right? We can, we can get to it. Okay. In the meantime, I'm going to grab some fluid pipes. And I'm also going to grab some of these diamond pipe upgrades. I did not want to do that. I want to place them on top. Boom, boom. Hook you up like that and chuck that in there. Okay, cool. So are you now filling up? Yeah. Okay, so he's now going as fast as he can, which is awesome. This guy should be draining a lot faster than he was before. So that's also awesome. And yeah, sweet. <laughs> I want to automate this somewhere else. But once I know you guys would absolutely yell at me if I just voided all this stuff. So we're going to let it process. Okay. And we'll, <laughs> and we'll just do it one step at a time. You may have also noticed we knocked off... Um, the mob mesh thing we did, the weather rain go bye-bye. I think we just solved that fully then, so we can get rid of those. And I was planning on doing auto enchantments this episode, but we've clearly got all this other stuff uh, asking for us. So yeah, cool. All right, this guy's almost done, which is great. I guess we'll take these out preemptively. Oh yeah, we need to automate. Did we automate glowstone? I don't think we did. I think we just thought about it. Oh yeah, we got all this stuff bookmarked. Ah, there's so much to do. <laughs> there's a ridiculous amount of stuff to do. All right, cool. Once this guy's done, um, he's going to have a... I'm going to have to void at least like 900 of this. I guess unless I chuck in... What is it? Just like a single mineral log. Is that, is that, is that how you get 100 mil buckets? What do you got? Huh? What does a mineral log do? Or is that somehow done like the perfect... Does that do 1,000 each? Yeah, it does 1,000 each. Okay. So... You get 250. Okay, so I've just got like a poor amount. <laughs> Alright, that's fine. I must have just accidentally voided it. Alright, we've got the mineral. Cool. Pick you up. Pick you up. Boom, boom. Cool. Um, next up is liquid chorus. 
I will happily attempt to take that. So we'll place this guy down. <sighs> I'm not going to be able to grab that out now, am I? Oh, I can. Whew. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you. Alright, that's there. Can I void that? <laughs> we. I guess I'll have to find like a trash can for that later. Alright, cool, whatever. It can go. We probably won't even use it. Uh, this guy here is going to output on the drawing base inside. He's going to push. And so this guy's going to get the stuff and he's going to process it into blocks, I would imagine. Yep, cool. And so once again, if I wanted to, which I guess we do, we can disconnect that, reconnect this, shift right click that, and he's good to go. Awesome. Okay. This stuff's going to come with me. Ah! I do like having the squeezer here just because it's kind of convenient. Like to quick place some stuff in there. So it may stay there, but I'll probably also entangle that somewhere else as well. <laughs> oh god. Um, Alright, this guy's done at least. We'll pick him up. Um, Yeah, let's just... We'll, we'll take this entangler and we'll, we'll go do our thing elsewhere. Okay. <laughs> oh god. It, it's worth it. It, it. it is worth it. All these little things, they're going to make just everything else so much better. Um, so... Where do I put it? This guy's going to go here. No. This guy's going to go here. He's going to have a crafter attached. This is obviously the mechanical squeezer. So we're going to go crafter. Oh, we can't afford it. <laughs> All right. Well, we've planned it at least. Oh, God. How embarrassing. Um, the squeezer is going to be there. Right. And then I'm going to have the mechanical drying basin here. And I think I can still just pipe them. That should still work fine. Hook that up. Chuck that in. Cool. That should that should be fine. That should still work as intended. And then all we do is grab some importers, which I can't afford at the moment. Um, cool. Okay, so what do I need now? Now all I need to do is chuck in this stuff and it can process it pretty quickly. Um, the idea as well will be having an importer there or something to pull the stuff into the system. And that should be great. Um, I was actually just going to run away, but I guess I don't need to. I can grab out the leather, chuck that in here, and then order a crafter. No? Oh, yeah. What am I doing? <laughs> oh, I was that was for the pouch. Yeah, gotcha. Okay. One, one step at a time. All right, we've got a pouch. And then I wanted to turn that into a bag with some leather and... Oh, sorry, with some wool and some blaze powder. So now I've got these two. Um, I'll need another diamond. And I am going to make this one. Realistically, I want it to be black dye. I just... Can we afford that? Apparently we can. So I'm going to I'm gonna take it. I'm going to take it. All right. So I will need another entangled block. <laughs> Listen, we're doing like five different things at once here, which is normally not the play. But you'll, ju you'll just have to take my word for it. Okay. I'm, I'm keeping track of what we're doing. So this guy is going to be for the furnace, okay? And so he is going to go, um, what am I doing? <laughs> He's going to go over here. He doesn't need to be over here, but I'll, I'll still place him over here just for the sake of it. He'll go here and he will have an item pipe like so on top with an ender chest. It'll obviously be diamond. And I would like to make this one, um, this color, that color, and that color. You can see at the top, it's banded correctly. And so all I need to do is bind that guy with the furnace, hook this guy up to extract. Um, I will put a diamond upgrade in this guy. Just once again, get him going fast. We'll remove both of these filters. We don't need them. Redstone ignored nearest first. Sounds good to me. Whitelist? No. Let's turn this guy to blacklist, I think. And then there's nothing on this and so nothing blacklisted. Hopefully. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. All right. So grab you and you're coming with me. Cool. So we're going to have furnace accessibility via my inventory is the plan. So how do we do that? Well, we have a bag. I'm going to shift right click on this. And as you can see, the block is bound. It has the code and it has that I'm linked there. So if I open this up, in theory, I can place in sea pickles. They should... Go into that. The problem is though, that the actual uh, furnaces in this mod pack or, or the iron furnaces or whatever they are, they need to be configured to accept from the top. Oh, which it is. It's got input from the top. Okay. 
Well, I didn't see that coming. Um, I'm not sure then. That should that should work just fine. Hmm. Oh, you know what? I think it was the whitelist, right? Ah, there we go. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. All right. So le leave it on whitelist. That sure. Yeah, that makes sense. All right. Yeah, but cool. So now, if I go in here and I search lime. We have lime dye, it just smelts the stuff. Um, and we no longer have to have a trip back to the uh, the thingy thing. You know what I mean? Um, so yeah, sweet, cool. Um, so on top of that, we can obviously combine our dough with the lime to at least get some slime balls to, uh, to scrape us by for a little bit here. So what do we want? We want external storages. I think we want at least two of these guys. Uh, I'll do one for now, but I, I have a feeling that there was another one that we wanted. Um, an external storage was going on this yellow guy and he was going to store the dough, I believe was the plan. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Yeah. He's going to store dough. That makes sense. So we'll go ahead and break this, um, place this guy, open him up. Uh, we want to have him extract only that way, you know, he doesn't store anything that we don't want in there and that should be good. He should, he should work that out. Um, the other external storage doesn't exist. Oh uh, yeah. We're going to place it on the, um, the guy up top. So we'll, we'll get that guy ordered. We'll get him made. Uh, and then we'll also place a crafter down here for um, the squeezer. And I guess we can put some squeezer recipes in there at some point. I I don't need them at the moment, but yeah, I guess we'll cross that bridge when we, when we need to. Uh, this guy is going to go there. Then we're going to grab our cables. And we're going to cable this up like that. And so now they're all accessible in the system, meaning if I search for... Oh, sorry, for Nether Star, and I attempt to order like three of them, it will tell me what we've got. So we've got the Mendelevium, we've got the that thing, we've got that thing. We just need titanium. Now, that was where the enchantment part was going to come into play. So for now, hold on. Um, We currently have auto wireless smelting via bag. Cool, done. <laughs> um, next up is either one of these things. Um, the reactor, we're waiting on the... um, um What's the word? We need, we need uh, squid ink for this guy, essentially. Um, right? Yeah, for the nether stars. <sighs> so, yeah. Actually, you know what? While we've got it, we probably should fully make sure that we've got this um, slime automated, right? Like, I don't want to <laughs> mess up and then not have that available. So, let's pick this guy up. Place down an ender chest. That should hopefully still work. I guess we'll see, I don't know, at some point. Um, in the meantime, there's all this. I guess I could drop some here. Here. You know. Gonna... Nom, nom, nom. Yep, he eats it. It's in there. Cool. Sweet. Okay, so we've got some, do um, some dough. We've obviously got some lime. I can add the recipe for the, um, for the stuff. And then that should be good. So we're going here. Slime. Boom. And... Boom. Cool. So that's taken care of too. Okay. <laughs> All right, so the slime is automated. We don't, we kind of don't have to worry about that. So slime auto dough, sort of done. Um, how do we get infinite squid? Well, we set up a fissure, hoping that it would get us the stuff. It, it's not, I mean, it's just simply not. Um, so I guess we need a new idea. Um, I also feel like the saddles are what's messing this guy up a bit. I'm not really sure. Can we sort the inventory? Does that somehow help? I don't know. Maybe some stack upgrades would help. But regardless, he's not getting a squid. That's that's the main takeaway. And the squid ink is obviously getting us the um, titanium, courtesy of this guy here, titanium oxide. So we just need ink sacs. We could get it from squid essence and like just growing it. I kind of don't want to do that. I, what, once it, I know I say it like almost every episode at this point, but I'm just, I'm, I'm not a fan of the, the gameplay of that. Um, because you could do it with everything, you know what I mean? So like, sure, it's like, oh yeah, this does sound really, really neat. But apply that to everything in the game and you're just playing like, um, creative mode. You, you know, right, that's just my personal opinion. Um, so I'd rather farm squid somehow. And I think we'll do it with a squid spawning. To do that, we need the capturing enchant. Which means we need to automate enchants because I do not have that currently. If we search, uh, capturing, we can see the enchant shows up here. Does not show up in here. Now, to craft this guy, we, we cannot. <laughs> Sadly, we cannot. Um, so, yeah. That means I just need a farm enchant and hope that I get the thing. Obviously, we could chuck like a sword in there that wasn't enchanted and, you know, it might tell us something. 
Um, and we, we, we could just get it. We honestly just could. I'd rather automate that process. We have experience being um, made courtesy of this guy over here. So we've just got like a ridiculous amount of experience. We've got 81 levels stored, stored up in here. That's 376 buckets worth. And there's probably even more and more on, on its way. So yeah, that, I mean, that's where we're at. So, yeah, what's the plan? Well, the plan is to, yeah, try to make use of that. So, <laughs> let's uh, let's try and do it. If we search enchant, mint. There's a few things. There's some enchantment movers from Quarry Plus. We don't even want those. An enchantment library. We do want one of these, and we will be making one of those soon. Um, and the main thing we're after are these guys here. So, specifically... The enchant enchantment applicator, I think. Possibly the enchantment factory. I'm not sure which one we want there. But we want one of them. And we want the enchantment extractor. We want a series of these. Um, I'm also going to search enchanter. To see if there's like some sort of... Yeah, mystical agriculture has an enchanter. Which I guess we'll just... Oh, you put the essence in and you can make some enchants. Cool, cool. Okay. It's obviously the Ender IO one. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's going to be one of these guys. Now, the enchantment applicator... Looks like it applies an enchantment to a tool, like like a book enchantment to a tool, because we've got anvils. The enchantment factory has like the enchanting book recipe, right? So I think this one will actually use experience to make an enchanting uh, thingy thing. So yeah, cool. Let's, let's see if we can do that. Now, I thought I had this automated. This is obviously the pink slime guy down here. I thought we put in the recipe, but I guess we didn't. That's fine. We'll quickly go ahead and make that guy. Obviously, we need some patterns as well. Ba, 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 ba. Yeah, okay. Everything should be good. <laughs> Everything should be doable. I'm not sure how long this episode will be because I sort of I had to do a cut at one point, but we'll see. Uh, so we'll slap this recipe there. I don't want the pink slime to go in. I swear we've already done this, but that's fine. Uh, while we're here, actually, we have ancient debris, like a decent amount. Where are we wanting to process this? What are we wanting to do with it? Are we wanting to just smelt it into one? Or... Probably squeeze it into two, right? That probably makes the most sense. Um, so let's let's just grab this recipe that says you'll get one, and we'll chuck that in the um in the other guy. How does that sound? Oh, I need string. Ah, uh, we've got wool. Ah, uh, that's gonna be another recipe. <laughs> let's tell it that um wool in the squeezer gives us string. All right, plenty to do here, and so we'll manually do that as well. Cool. Okay, so, um, we're going to place the crafter there. This guy's going to get both of these squeezing recipes. We will then get an importer to obviously pull the stuff out. Um, now, we're going to need two of these guys because we've got to actually pull them out of both of these guys um, as well as the stack upgrade couldn't hurt. So, we'll go here. We'll go um, importer. Make sure we grab those two. And stack upgrade should hopefully be done. Almost. Maybe. <laughs> if we cross our fingers. Yeah, beautiful. All right. Um, so, an importer from here to collect, obviously, the blocks and the leather in this instant. Um, okay. Or it won't do that. Is this... No, that all should be good. Okay. Maybe I need to... Sp oh, I don't like the sounds. Maybe I need to place this guy underneath. Possibly. Importer. Let's see if that does the trick. We've got plenty of cables. So it's not the end of the world. How's that doing? Yeah, there we go. Um, now, obviously, he could benefit from a stack upgrade at the moment. In the future, I don't think it matters. He doesn't get that much stuff. And this guy here is going to be a little bit annoying, to be honest. What I may just do is move them. Like, move the pipes and stuff here and there. Here and there. <laughs> um, for obvious reasons, right? You know the reason. Uh, so that we can place the importer on top. Like that. And place this guy here and hope that somehow that works. Now, currently there is 224 string in here. And as you can see, he's going to have to go underneath because that is not working. So I guess the cables could have stayed on top. <laughs> not the end of the world regardless. Um, we'll jump under here. Boom, 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 boom. Server might need to restart soon. Uh, is that working? Yep, the string is moving slowly but surely. We'll chuck in our stack upgrade and that should empty him out pretty quick. Awesome. Cool. Nice. I'm very, very happy about that. And go ahead and do something like that. Cool. All right, so that's all automated. We've got string and whatnot set up. Uh, um, where are we at now? Oh, yeah, I've got to place the new recipe, this guy here, in there. So that should now be automatable. 
So I can search Enchantment Factory. We can attempt to order both of these bits. We are missing two nether brick. Really? So, ah, check this out. I need some nether brick, so I open my little smelting bag, chuck in my nether rack. <laughs> we should now have enough to order this thing. How cool is that? <laughs> yes! <laughs> very, very happy about that. Um, now, it will take a little while. We can actually probably watch this guy. See when he gets the stuff. This guy's probably got some. I mean, he's got speed upgrades. I guess he's not going too slow. And then this guy will start up. And there he is. Cool. So, Enchantment Factory. Here it is. We'll go ahead and bring him over here. I know I didn't power that guy over there, but... You know. I'll, I'll get to it. <laughs> Alright, so. Ugh. Let's place him down. Hmm. I'm trying to think of how this will look good. So, I might place him on... <sighs> hmm. I don't know. I'm not sure what the best... I'm not sure if I can be bothered redesigning this, but I'm also like trying to think of in the future when I do redesign it, it'll probably look nice. Yeah, let's place it on the other side. Why not? Cisco will need power. We'll do that. Um, then you'll need experience and books. Pretty simple guy. Um, so, we're going to go ahead and break under here. Oh, we've got a nice big area under there that I totally knew about. <laughs> um, <laughs> okay, okay. Now... I thought we have, yeah, we have some uh, refined storage over here, courtesy of this guy. So if I go ahead and cover that up, then I should be able to run cables down here if the water will slowly disappear. Um, and so the cables will go across there. They're going to pop up here, like so, and have an exporter there for books. We will then have fluid pipes. By the way, once again, the wireless grid, like being able to access it from this far away. As you can see, so nice. Let's go there, 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 and there. And so now that should work in theory. What I'm going to do is I'm going to disconnect this like so. And so now all new experience should go here. And in theory, into the mob duplicator under there, which is getting our shulker shells. Cool. Yeah, nice. Um, so yeah, that's, that's how this currently is. Obviously I can then cover up this. We can get a cover over there. That should be fine. The other thing I'm considering is whether I want to extract some of the experience from this crystal. Cause he's got a lot in there. We can also probably store some of our own. Cause we've got a decent amount in there too. Get like that much in there. 87. That looks pretty nice. How many buckets? 450 buckets worth. Um, I'm obviously grabbing a little bit more than I should from this distance. But yeah, I mean, this guy will start getting stuff. Oh, we need a lot more though, don't we? So what's happening? This guy, he's mashing them. I guess they're just not spawning as much as sometimes we get. So I could put like Dreadful Dirt in there. I think you could put Dreadful Dirt underneath the um the vector plates as well. And I believe that works. This guy has some XP juice in him. Is that the problem? He's not... He's got XP juice? That he's like probably pulled out of this guy? Is that what we're thinking has happened here? That doesn't make sense. XP juice. What the hell's XP juice? <laughs> um Let's see. I'm gonna I'm gonna pick it up. And I'm gonna place it down again. I'm gonna place that guy down. Is he already filled up? Nope, not yet. We're lucky. Set him up to extract. And we'll see. Show range. That's currently the range that he picks stuff up in. So it'll be two blocks in there as well. So that should be pretty good. That should be plenty. Um, I can probably increase the range a little bit. Why not? In fact, yeah. Why would I want it any lower? Always active. Okay. I don't know. I don't know. What are we thinking? What are we thinking? Okay, so he's got he's got some XP juice. No, that's that guy has XP juice. Okay, this guy's got nothing because it's all going in here. Eh. I don't know. All right, so we're going to go exporter. This is where it can get very messy because how do I hook this guy up to not just run infinitely? You know what I mean? And, and waste all of our paper and all of our leather. I think I need to make a completely separate um, cow farm or make use of the rotten flesh that we could be getting from this guy uh, with the drying basin and funnel it into him directly. You know what I mean? I think we have to have it completely separate from our main system so as not to um, overflow it. And, and I think that makes sense. So I'm going to I'm gonna actually give that a shot. So drying basin needs some black dye, of course. Black 
die. I guess we'll just do this. I'm sure there's better ways to go about it, but it's fine. Drying basin. All of this is to hopefully get the capturing enchant. <laughs> that's what that's what all of this is leading to. One, uh, oh, chuck that in there. Hold on. Hold on. Um, you, a stack please, thank you. What are we at? You gives that. At integrated, because I think we got another one already. Yep, cool. You, you, you. <laughs> and then obsidian. <laughs> come on. Come on, guys. Please. Huh? Uh-oh. All right. We'll grab this guy here. Um, we've got a drying basin that'll go here. <laughs> we'll place down our, um, this guy, our wireless guy there. Obviously give him a card that got picked up by this guy. I can't place it on top, can I? No. But if I place it there, then that looks goofy. Yeah. Okay. Well, we tried. All right. So I'm going to want to extract from this guy. Um, it's not going to look pretty over here. Yeah. So let's maybe try and fix that. <laughs> let's, uh, oh God. Let's move this guy closer. How close? Great question. Um, he can probably sit right there. That That's fine. Oh, that's not the... Uh, I'm panicking. That, that'll that go there. That means I can pick up this guy. I can go ahead and place down an item pipe. We're going to want to obviously have this side not connected, this side connected. This will have a filtered upgrade and it will be told rotten flesh only. So what I can probably do is grab out some rotten flesh and shift click that in there. Cool. So then from here... We can run that into this guy. He gets Rotten Flesh. He begins doing his magic. Wonderful. I'm going to add Rotten Flesh to the list here on the blacklist. That means it can store as much Rotten Flesh as it wants without breaking the system, I guess. Um, yeah. Cool. Okay. So, this guy's going to make leather. All we need now is um, paper over here. <laughs> so, uh, let's go... How am I going to do this? Kind of. I don't... I'm not sure if I like this system. I would like a crafter tier one from RF tools. And we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna try and keep this all separated from the main setup. Come on, it's just a crafting table. You can do it. <laughs> all right, crafter, cool. This guy's gonna go here. He is going to receive, cause I guess we've learned that we have to do it from underneath. Um, let's go here, add a pipe, make some more. That's fine, everything's fine. You're going to go there. You're going to be set to extract. So you are going to get leather. Cool. Next, we just need some uh, paper, courtesy of sugarcane. Now, we've got a massive sugarcane farm over there, which I could bring into the system and, and over here. Then I would just have to run this cable. I guess the cable's already over here. Yeah, we can Yeah, we, we can. We can make use of that then. Uh, if the cable wasn't over here, I would not bother. But uh, because it is... I think we can make this work. Possibly by doing this. I think that works. <laughs> I think. Oh. <laughs> that thing sounded majestic and then just. <laughs> um, Alright. So. I'm going to do exporter. We are going to want. No, that's fine. Um, exporter will go here. This guy's going to be told paper. And then that should be fine. Paper into there. So that's what he's currently doing. Cool. Um, I do want him to get a crafting upgrade. Ah, no. I'd rather put the paper recipe in here. In one of the uh, requesters. So, I've got a requester here. 100? Yeah, 100 paper at a time. That sounds pretty good. So, I'll drag that there. He'll try to keep 100 paper in the system. I now need to just go over in this direction. And make sure that this is within our system. Because I don't believe it is currently. It is not. So... We're going to go um, entangled block. Arguably, I could just bring the botany pot over. I know, but it's fine. Um, here we go. Entangled block, entangled binder. I'm going to grab that guy. Let's try and keep things somewhat clean. Fly back over here. And much like all these other systems with the external storages, I'm going to slap this guy down um, pretty much here. Entangle him up. And external storage him. And then that should just... I might need to add the paper recipe. Because I, I'm not quite sure if we have that in the system. But 
once we've got that, everything should just sort of be good to go. So, um, I will have to tell this guy, Hey, um, extract only. That should be good. Let's search paper. We do have a craftable. Cool. That, that should be good then. Uh, now if we come over here, we should hopefully have paper in here. Awesome. That should be good. I, th I believe it is craft putting every new bit that the crafts in there. Cause currently we've got none in the system and <laughs> we should hopefully get some more later. We've got 61 at the moment. I guess we'll, hmm. I don't want to have to put a crafting card on this guy, but I, I might have to crafting upgrade. We'll order one. I'll keep an eye on it. Regardless, he's too slow at this point, even if it was working. Um, I could also put a stack upgrade, but I think it's fine at the moment. What I will do though, is I will do this oh, and this, and I'm going to click, um, remember the current layout. That way, if I take paper out, I think he remembers it, that there, were, that there was paper in there. All right. So recipe one, that's what we're going to edit. This is going to be the recipe for a book, believe it or not. <laughs> so we're just going to paste in that there and we're going to click apply. Cool. That's, that's pretty much it. He's got power. So yeah, he should be doing it. There we go. So he's sort of begun. Um, we can grab our crafting upgrade. Cool. Chuck that guy in there. Awesome. So the last step is to put the book in this guy. So that's what we'll do. Set him up there. Tell this guy, he's already saying that he can't accept books. There we go. Books go in. All he needs now is to actually be getting the essence. Now I don't actually know what the deal is at the moment with the essence. I'm picking up a lot of it. I might even be picking up all of it. I mean, I guess that's a problem. Um, we need an XP vacuum and we'll probably do this one. The one from mob, mob grinding utilities because it is genuinely just better. It just simply is. Um, or at least it appears to be because this guy's doing pff, bugger all. Um, all right. So we'll pick him up. Cool. Absorption hopper gets placed. Set that guy up to extract the liquid. Now he'll probably pick up a bunch of items. Which could be a problem if I wanted to. I could probably just do one of those. That should take care of it. Um, we also want to... Hmm, I guess it's fine. He's already picking up stuff. We want to tell him what direction is this? South. South is where he will extract the fluids. So south and it will be fluid. And so that should leave. Currently there's 140 mil buckets. In the perfect world, that should be going in here. Um... Essence, 340 is what he has. Fluid XP, is that what this is? No, this is Essence, okay. I may just need to pick this guy up and place him down again. Just to like, you know, give him a quick refresher. It's also looking like the server needs to restart. <laughs> I'm trying to squeeze out the end of this episode though. Um, grab you. Yeah, it looks fine. Place you. So now you'll get Fluid XP, cool. And he should get power soon, courtesy of the wireless guy. Yep, cool, he's got power. Fluid XP. And so that's, yeah, that's all we're waiting on is more fluid XP. Um, and yeah, I am genuinely thinking that we probably want to do some Dreadful Dirt. So, if I search Dreadful Dirt, we need a rotten egg. Um, if we go at mob, we get the rotten egg by giving cursed chicken feed to a dude. And for that, we need three XP buckets, essentially. So... <laughs> How do we do that with what we've got? Can I grab a bucket of this? I can. Cool. That's very easy then. Let's go back to at mob. We need this guy here. It's going to cost us a bone, a spider eye, rotten flesh, and a gunpowder. Yoink. Um, this guy, I think he ends up making a three by three. Oh, sorry, a five by five. So what do we have in here? One, two, three, four, five. I could do like one there, two, three, four, and that would be massive it would be massive. <laughs> I was going to say more stuff, but I think that's honestly just good enough. So let's go one, two, put those away. One, two, three, four. And I'll just, uh, I'm going to make four of these. That's my plan at least. Hmm. Is this guy full? Why did I just pick up that stuff? Okay. Whatever. All right. We're already out of spider eyes. So, um, I'll tell you what. We won't be doing that. Um, what we'll do now is I'll try to do, get this set up and then that'll pretty much be the end of the episode, I think. We just need a chicken. Usually they spawn over in this sort of direction. I'm, oh, you know what? My map's brand new, isn't it? Uh, Minimap. Um, show mobs. 
Isn't there like a show mob heads? Show mob headings. No. I want like big picture of mob. Oh, mob display. Um, icons. Beautiful. Was that the right map? It was. Cool. So now we can actually see the mobs. We've got some sheep, some cows. Oh, I see a chicken. All right. Here we go. Chickens. Um, so you feed them this and they'll explode. They might do a happy birthday thing. Let's see. Oh, no. We just get a horrific sound. Maybe that's for the delightful dirt. And we get a rotten egg. So I'll feed this guy as well. And there we go. And that is two rotten eggs. And we will now be able to see what exactly that means, um, I guess, in the grand scheme of things. So let's, let's go back and have a look. Okay, so. Um, this will be messy. This will be messy. So, inside here, if I break this... Oh, yeah, it's not even dirt. Okay. Yeah, this will be even messier. Okay. So, we'll open this up. We'll go exchanging gadget, which we don't have. Okay, that's fine. We'll grab dirt. Okay. I can't actually grab stuff out of my system. I think I've made the mistake. And this has happened in the past before. You guys may remember. Um, but it was usually happening with ender tanks. But I very recently attached an ender chest to the system. And I think this guy is causing my system to break. For whatever reason. And so let's just go ahead and, and fix that real quick. Because, I mean, it's a problem, right? This guy's going to be storing dough. That's fine. I'm going to pick him up. We're going to have um, that there. No, sorry. Ender chest there. The um, drawer here. And we'll just move the stuff across like that. And that should all still work the same. The only difference is when I go in my inventory and try to grab dirt, I can grab dirt. That's That should be the main difference there. Um, in one of our inventories is an exchanging gadget. We're going to use that guy to select dirt. Not water. Yep, he's got dirt. And we want to set this guy up to do a 5x5. Five five. So I'll hold my key that I've got bound. Okay, not that key apparently. Okay. Uh, controls, keybinds, category, building gadgets 2. Settings menu is 6. Okay, cool. So I'm going to set this guy, um, as you can see here. To a range of four, that seems to do a five by five. Oh, and oh, wrong button. Hold on. And I want to make sure we have it on surface. And that should be good. Now, yeah, that should work. The only thing I'm concerned about is its inability to... Oh, no, this looks like it'll go through stuff. You know what I mean? Like, hmm, okay. Let's see. So I'm hoping that by right-clicking this... Yeah, it looks like all of it's turning into dirt. Beautiful. Okay, so all of that is now dirt. We can do the same thing. I think we'll do it in this corner, actually. So I'll break that guy. We'll have to place these back at some point. And we'll, we'll attempt to do it here. And I'm hoping that without having to pick up all of the um, vector plates, which, I mean, it's an easy fix even if we have to pick up the vector plates, but I'm hoping it will turn it all into this uh, dreadful dirt. All right, cool. So that's uh, transformed. I'm now going to apply the rotten dirt like so. Oh, you can see the particles are everywhere that they need to be. I'll apply it there as well. And so allegedly that should work. So I'll go ahead and place that back there. Place that guy there. And I believe vector plates shouldn't stop mobs from spawning on top of them. Oh, I did not mean to press that. The only way I think they do that is if the light within the building is too bright like anyway, you know what I mean? Which is kind of, I think, what we've got courtesy of our Feral Flare Lanterns. So, what are they from? Feral Flare Lanterns um, clears residual lights from a Feral Flare Lantern. Places invisible lights from the Torch Master mod. So if I go at Torch Master, we've got a few here, Mega Torch, Dread Lamp, Feral Flare Lantern, and a Frozen Pearl. <sighs> I'm thinking the best option is just to place our feral flare lanterns in such a way that they don't get in there. I'm, I think. The other thing would be if there's some sort of other thing that eats away life. Because the way that that frozen pearl sounds is not that it will make um, the light disappear. It's, it said like residual. You know what I mean? That sort of sounds like leftover as opposed to literally the light that it makes. Right? Oh, a lightning grenade. Some cool stuff. Um... Yeah, 
Clears residual lights from front. Yeah. So, I'm thinking we just pick these guys up. And we sort of see how that goes. Because I have, we do have a few very close around here. Um, might even have to pick these up. Yeah, okay, we, we're gonna have a few, <laughs> we're gonna have a few dark nights. I'll tell you that much. Um, while we sort of try to try to resolve this. Okay, are there any obvious lights in here? There's lights coming through the window, even though the window is all tinted. So, so in theory, the light coming through this shouldn't be real. Do you guys know how that works? Like, if that actually works that way. Also, F7 shouldn't open this. Let me fix that. Alright, F7 should toggle on light overlay. So, you can see these are yellow, meaning the mobs will spawn here at night. And it appears as though that is... Oh, I guess we've got this open on this side, don't we? Hmm, okay. That shouldn't... Oh, that shouldn't really change much. This part over here is constantly lit up, though. So... Oh, I get, yeah, I guess because we've got a campfire there. That makes sense. Okay. Um, hmm. Okay. What if I place that forward one? You know what I mean? So what, what, what do we have in this guy? Okay. I'm going to pick you up. And I'm going to place him like right there is the plan. Okay. That's, that's genuinely going to be a problem, I think. So let's just, yeah. Okay. Well, that, that didn't really work. Hold on. Ah, dude. <laughs> Come back. <laughs> okay. Place that there. Oh. Ah, oh, that's fine. We'll fill up that hole. Okay, cool. Um, so. If I could borrow your mob masher, please. Mob masher will go there. With that and that. Um, he'll need a lever as well, of course. I don't really know. Oh, yeah, we do have the lever. Cool. So that guy will go there and he'll turn on. And that should take care of those guys. Everything should still work as it is. The only difference is now, in theory, we can board this up with uh, some more tinted glass. We've got three tinted, which is perfect for this gap. The problem is I just... Oh, oh hold on. Hold on. Let's follow this. <laughs> Let's make sure that we're not lighting up a fire over here. Are we good? Okay. <laughs> it looks like we're good. No insane forest fire. Yet. Okay. Um, I'm just trying to think as well. Because I can I can place one here. <laughs> I could probably pick this guy up. Place one here. And then I could even place one where that guy... But like, do I need to? How can I tell if this is working? I think if I pick up one of these guys... See, it's yellow, meaning there's still enough light in here for it to be like uh, only nighttime that they spawn. So currently, the light level is 5. It is 1 in this... It's 0 in this corner. It is pr almost 0 in this corner. And then it's very bright at the front here. So yeah, the light is leaking in through here. Um, okay. Can I move both of those outside? I think I can. I think that... Uh, I think that'll work. Should we try? I think we should. Um, I'm going to need another one of these anyway, so I guess we'll get that made. Sure. Oh, also, I still can't take the stuff out, so... Unless I've hooked up another ender chest to the system, um, then we've got a completely different issue. Let's also turn the overlay off. Do we... What's what's happening here? What have I, what have I connected recently? That guy's an entangled chest. That just hopefully shouldn't be a problem. I guess it could be. Um... Yeah, none of that stuff looks too bad. Did I do something back over here that I shouldn't have? I don't think I did. Nope. We didn't have an ender chest up here. We had just the dough. That guy should be fine. I'm not sure. No, not a clue. Um. God. What, what have we even got? We've just got a bunch of stone swords. Alright. This guy's going to go here. He's going to have only dirt attached to him. He is going to... Export fluid down. And that should now work. Connected tinted glass will go here. All that's left in theory is this uh, lever. So I'll break that. And I'll instead place that there. This guy obviously has a little bit of mess to clean up. Um, what have I caused in here? I think that. 
So that should now be good, right? Maybe. Grab that back. Sure. Uh, we call it, I mean, there's a lot that's going to be cleaned up there. Um, so in terms of um, where this thing has to go, I am currently at X363 and I need to be at 16... No, nope, I need to be at 158. So what that means is I can hop under here. 163 is where we're at. Oh, 36... 363? <laughs> I think. And then... Oh, yeah, here we go. And then... Um, that's the mob masher. Lever. Turn that on. Cool. We picked up a lot of the junk that I didn't want to pick up, but that's fine. Go ahead and put that away. Um, what else can we take from this <laughs> that clearly needs to be taken? I guess I can just sort it. There you go. Um, but yeah, now we're getting different mobs. So, like, we're getting... Um, uh, witches, we're getting all sorts of things. This guy should be getting a crazy amount of fluid XP, which it looks like he is. I don't know how much he needs before he begins. I'm guessing 10k by the looks of things here, so... Might be about to see that. Um, this guy probably needs to be set up to extract. And go ahead and put in the... Pipe upgrade? Maybe he didn't have one? Or is it 10? And he's still not processing, so... Little bit weird. Where's some mode ignored? Okay. Um, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not sure why this guy isn't working then. Maybe he just needs a lot more than I thought he did. <laughs> you know what? Maybe... Oh, what is... Oh, <laughs> I think that was a slime that died and it just, like, absolutely flew across the universe. Um, but yeah. I mean, this is going to get a lot of stuff. Which, which is just a problem. Let's go ahead and get rid of a bunch of this stuff. Just by picking up a place now. We don't need coal... To that extent. Um, I don't even know what else we don't need. There's so much stuff. I mean, arguably we don't need all these skull fragments, but I mean, it's fine. You know, it's not the end of the world that we have them. It's just that we, it's just we don't need them. Alright, but yeah. I mean, that, that should work. That should put all of the experience um, into here. We should get a lot more because it's now running like 24-7. This guy should get some uh, leather again. Courtesy of, um, you know, zombies spawning in there whenever they do. Um, and he should be able to kill every type of mob. All should be good. I think we're good. Do we feel like we're good? <laughs> I think we're good, at least for now. Slime balls we're getting as well, just like normally, which is pretty cool. We probably don't even need to automate them anymore, now that we've got those. I'm surprised there's all those types of mobs spawning. This guy's disappointing, though. I, I genuinely, I expected a lot more. W oh, with that being said... Oh, no, I guess there's a bunch of books in here. I was going to say, like, where are they going, man? Like, maybe he did them? That's fine. Um, okay, cool. Well, while we're here, just before we wrap this up, I want to make the enchantment library. So this guy needs four bookshelves and four ender chests by the looks of things. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's search, uh, bookshelf. Let's go in here. Let's get four. We might need a special bookshelf. I'm not sure. We'll try with what we've got there. Um, maybe we'll give it some books to, to give it a little bit of a head start. Come on. Come on, buddy. He's getting there. And then more's the last bit, an enchanting table, so we can do that. Cool. Bookshelves are almost done. Red three, come on. You can do it, I believe in you. Four, beautiful. Um, so can we make this? I th it might have to be an apotheosis. Yeah, it has to be an infused shelf, allegedly. So, um, let's go shelf. And so we need like one of these. I think pretty much any of these will do by the looks of things. Ancient planks. Some... Yeah, some special enchanted ones. Usually I go end shelves, but I need some dragon breath, which we just don't really have laying around. <laughs> oh, we need infused dragon breath, so it needs a level 80 enchant on that guy. Gotcha. Okay. Um, In that case, I don't really know what I can afford. We don't really have any of this other stuff. Um, at least at first glance. Okay. Interesting. A sea shelf. Puffer fish and water bottle, but then we'll also need prismarine blocks, which we don't have. Cool. There's a bunch of demonic stuff that we obviously don't have. This one's possibly doable. Potion of regen I'd need though. I mean, that's a lot of effort. <laughs> oh God. Yeah. Okay. What about this? Oh no, that needs one of those. Gotcha. 
Hold on. How much melon do we have? Ooh. I can almost do <laughs> what we need. Um, our inventory is looking real weird at the moment, by the way. I, I'm not really sure what the cause is, to be honest. But as you can see, it's bugging out quite a bit. So I, I've done something this episode that I, that I need to try and fix. Um, oh, can I really not make this guy? What, what am I missing? So, yeah, he's cool. But I just need one of these. And it looks like it's literally any type of bookshelf that just isn't what I've got. So I think the easiest thing will be this, just getting some uh, potions of regen. Ghast here and Awkward Potion. Awkward Potion is Nether Wart and Water Bottle. We can do that. We can do that easily. Um, yeah, cool. Okay. All right, we've only got one Ghast here. Um, oh, but we can almost make another one with the, the crystallizing or the catalyzing glands because I think we've got at least one in here. Uh, oh, yeah, we've got a few. Cool. Um, nice. I only need one. That's going to be a problem soon that's going to have to be dealt with. I mean, uh, I feel like we've solved the problem and just instantly gotten, like, another problem. <laughs> you know what I mean? All right, let's grab that. Okay, plenty of mess. Um, okay. Are you done yet? Oh, you're awfully slow. Man, who slowed down the brewing stands? Whoo wee All right, we've got potions of regen. Um, they're very slow to make, I'll just tell you that much, but, um... We've got three that we can make. I'm guessing I need more, so we've got some more cooking up there, but that's fine. Um, the nether brick, I should be able to make quite easily. We obviously cooked up a bunch of this before. That's that taken care of, at least for now. That can go in there. Got some weakness potions as well. Boom. One. What, what else do I need? Was it more bookshelves? Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, oh, nice. I'm surprised we actually need more nether brick. Didn't expect that, but that's fine. We can chuck that in there. And we should see that go up. <laughs> right? Yeah. Slower than I thought it would, but, you know, it's fine. Um, how's this guy going? You can actually hover over in uh, about six seconds. That's pretty good. All right? Um, and the ghast here, so they're going to be made. I still want to do a... Like, that accelerating staff that we made is really good. I just need to try it again on this uh, lazy version, and I think it should work. I think this is a long episode. <laughs> So sorry, but uh, ah, you guys like it anyway. You, you guys, it's pro it's probably more of a you're welcome. <laughs> All right, and some more regen potions. That should be the fourth health shelf. Now that might be enough. No, we need to infuse these guys. I believe. Um, so to do that, we just need to enchant them with a level forty-five uh enchanting table. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. I mean, what? <laughs> all right. Um, all right. Um, this might be an episode. Th this might be a job for another day is what I'm trying to say here. Um, currently, can I enchant anything in here to sort of show off how this will work? All right. Currently, we are getting 15 Eterna and 15 Quanta. Okay. We need 22.5 Eterna and 30 uh, Quanta. Uh, like 30% and 22.5 of this stuff. These bookshelves can go to a max of 15. Now, I don't necessarily know if a different bookshelf does the same thing. You know what I mean? Like it's just a max of 15 that, that it can get up to. I think it is though. I think that's how that works, which means I need something that, if we look at the tooltips, goes above 15. So for example, hell shelves. I need to essentially make more hell shelves to replace in here to get us up to that 22.5, which means I should just be making more and more and more and more and more and more and more, um, of whatever they were, uh, gas tiers and stuff. So that's what I'm going to, oh, regen potions. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, the problem is this guy is so awfully slow that I almost just don't want to do that. Um, bottles, one, two, three. Is that working? Nope. None of that's working. Open, close. One, two, three. Nope, just one. Okay, open, close. One. <laughs> yeah, I've... Oh, man, I've messed up my system massively. Let me know if you, uh... Know what I've done. I'm sure there's some common, uh... Mistake I've done. Can I please... Please... Just a nether wart. Alright, sweet. One, two, three, nether wart. You know what, actually? I could probably... Yeah, well, once I get enough, I can... I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter. 
So, so what do I need? We're currently at 15, so I need to... Hold on. I need to do 22.5, take away 15, right? So we need 7.5. Each of these do 1.5, so divided by 1.5. We need five hell shelves, which I... Honestly, I think I can make. I think we... Yeah, we've got enough for that. Cool. Let's just do that. <laughs> yeah, sure. Why not? Gets the job done. Um, although I think I need six, which apparently we can do as well. So we'll probably get that done because then with the sixth one, I can enchant and then like swap them. You know what I mean? Go back and forth. Um, yeah, I'm excited to find out which mod is causing the, uh, the refined storage, like, uh, inventory to bug out. There's only a few things I've done this episode. This is a contender just because of the sheer volume of this guy. He's set to insert an extract. That does appear to be a problem. I definitely should have set this guy up to only extract. Um, yeah, that, I mean, that could be a problem just for, for whatever reason. How much are we there? That looks fine. I'll uh, clean up that chest at least. And we'll pretend like that somehow helps our problem. All right, that honestly could have been it. We'll, <laughs> once again, we'll, we'll hopefully uh, find out sooner rather than later. Boom, nether bricks, boom. Boom, 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 boom. All right, so down here, all I need to do allegedly is pick up each of these bookshelves. I could probably set this guy to do small square mode. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. What does that take us to? 22.5 and 30%. That's exactly what we wanted. Next up, I should be able to chuck this guy in here and we now have the infusion um, ability unlocked or enchant, right? So... Boom, boom. It costs 45 levels though. It is not cheap by any means. Um, which is honestly pretty rough. It, like that genuinely, that is pretty rough. Um, so what are we going to have to do here? I'm going to have to ask for some levels out um, to get to 45. Now I want to make sure it's exact because each level that you use, like it, uh, each level is worth more XP, but when you um, enchant with it, it'll use up the level regardless of how much XP that level is worth. So for example, level one might be worth like 1000 XP. The numbers are off, but just the, the theory is still the same. Um, and so if I enchanted something for level one, it would take that one level, right? Um, level 30 might take like 10,000 experience points to get to from like from 29 to level 30. Um, but when you do that level one enchant, it'll still just take that full level. That That's my rough understanding of it. Obviously the numbers aren't that uh, black and white, but... That's how that works, roughly. <laughs> All right, cool. So now we have an infused hell shelf. And so my plan here is to swap these out. So like pick this guy up, place down a hell infused hell shelf. So there we go. And then just keep swapping them. So obviously we need some more. Um, wait, that worked, right? No, it didn't work because we're no longer at enough quanta. So what I'll do is I'll go back and grab some XP. But what we'll also grab... And I, I will be careful about this because I don't want to waste levels. Um, I'll also grab some Wither Skeleton Skulls because these give extra quanta, I think. Yeah, plus 10%. So I should be able to chuck this guy, for example, here. And that should now be enough for the infusion. Yeah, cool. Oh, but it's level 36. Hmm. Interesting. Um, modulates the power range. Okay. Okay. Cool. Can I pick this guy up, you reckon? I I would just attempt to pick him up, but I don't know. Like, I don't want to risk it. Because if I lose all these levels, it's a lot to lose. Should I just... Ah, whatever. Let's just take some levels. <laughs> Let's just get this thing done. We're traveling way too fast on our jetpack nowadays. Which is weird. Um, okay, cool. Boom, boom. Infusion. It is now an infused health shelf. Awesome. So I'll pick these guys up. If it'll let me, come on. Infused health shelf. What are we at? Are we at enough? We're not. Cool. You can go there. Now we're at enough. Infusion. Oh, and the lapis stays in the in the table. Awesome. Health shelf will pick up. The infused one's below. Cool. Infusion. Thank you. Just continue on our way until we've got all of them done. And I will do them all. I know we don't have to do all of them. We could leave one not done, but I think we may as well. 
infusion. Cool. So, for what I want, I require four of these guys. And so there we go. And now we can make the enchantment library. Cool. This guy is one of the most powerful blocks in the game, in my opinion. Um, and I can show you how and why. We'll probably end up taking this guy over to this enchantment uh, factory here. Assuming he starts working like that. Reason being is, um, and we'll leave that there for now. Reason is, this guy will store enchants. If I take out this book, and I go ahead and place the book in here, it will store them. Not only will it store them so that I can grab them out later, but I can combine them, so I can put Curse of Vengeance and Power on there. And depending on what I had, I can left-click this more and more times to put a higher level on there. And we can also just chuck it back in here. And it's like one-to-one, -one, you know what I mean? There's no loss, all benefits. Which means I can go in here, we can search um, Enchant, and I can just grab out all of our enchanting books, everything that we've got, and we can chuck them in here. And as far as I'm aware, there's no downside. Um, and the benefit is, if I have like... I mean, it allows you to, like, combine them as well, like, effortlessly. If I have a bunch of, like, Fortune 3 books, or if I have one Fortune 3 book and place it in here, and then I place, like, 10 Fortune 1 books, I can withdraw Fortune 3 books. It depends on, if you look at the left here, the highest level book you've placed in is the max level available, and then the points stored is the combined value of each enchanted book you put in. So whether that's two level 1 books you put in, a single level 4 book, etc., etc., it's so good. It's so good. So the idea here is to have this guy just pumping out these books 24 seven. Clearly, oh, clearly it needs a lot more XP than I realized. Um, but then he should just push out the book into this guy and he'll store it. And then hopefully one day we hop on and we have the capturing enchant already, already in here. But, uh, I mean, he's rough, isn't he? He's not really doing well at all. I think I'd be much better off just going over here and chanting them myself. On top of that, if I actually invest in these good bookshelves, we're going to be getting like higher level enchants, you know what I mean? Higher than level 30, for example. We can view all enchants. I can search through this list for capturing. I think it was at the bottom. Uh, capturing. And currently, it is very rare with what I've currently got, level 37. If I bump this up to, what were we at? We were at level 45. And if I go ahead and look at capturing, um, level 2 is very rare, so... I don't know, it's it's gettable at least, I guess. Um, oh yeah, I guess, I guess that's fine. Um, so yeah, I mean, there is a chance though. There's a chance to get it. There's obviously a chance with everything that you've got in there. And so it's up to me whether I just want to chuck in some books in here and manually click these through and hope that I get capturing. I probably should be looking at each of them just in case um, I happen to spot capturing on one of the other ones. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know what the play is. <laughs> Um, cool. So yeah, that's, uh, that's where we're at currently. And then obviously I would fly back over here or, you know, have it near me and just place them in there and they're ready for whenever I need them. Very cool. Um, so yeah, mainly just this guy. I'm not sure what the play is there. If you guys have any ideas with how to make that work a little bit better, please do let me know because yeah, it'll be pretty cool. Um, okay. So what's happened so far? We do have the auto enchanter, auto books, and um, we have the fisher, so that guy's done. Um, the auto drain, we did that. That guy's actually done. We haven't automated the mineral part of it, but we just put a pattern in it and it's good to go. And then all that's left would be this guy, but we needed the ink sacks, which I'm hoping to get from that capturing enchant. So we're gonna have to just work on the enchantments, I think for another episode most likely. But, um, but yeah, sweet. So thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed the episode. Hopefully you're still enjoying the series. Thank you, of course, to everyone watching the video. Thank you, guys. Thank you for listening. Um, hopefully, I don't know. Hopefully it was a good experience. Hopefully it wasn't a bad experience. It's probably the more important part there. Um, and yeah, thank you, of course, to our donators and our channel members. Thank you to our tier three channel members, Melizzy, Andre, and Final Phoenix 13. Thank you, guys. Um, don't feel pressured to become a donator or even maintain your memberships or anything like that. Um, but thank you to those of you who have. Um, thank you. And um, thank you to thank you to everyone who happens to be using our sponsored partnership link with Bisect Hosting. Um, thank you. Obviously, if you're not planning on using a server, there's no no obligation. I mean, there's no obligation regardless. But the link saves you guys money and it makes me money. 
Um, so win, win. And then I guess bisect gets a customer. So win, win, win. Allegedly, <laughs> as, as far as I know. Um, so yeah, cool. All right. Hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.